です。Hello guys, this is Agnieszka from The Nova Imagination and welcome to Unkeg painting tutorial from Dungeons and Dragons Whiskey's model series. This is basic level painting tutorial, so if you're new to the painting world, this tutorial is just for you. And for this tutorial you're gonna need flat earth, black, sepia ink, black red, olive green, parasite brown, rust, red ink, gold brown, light yellow, and white. Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial of Whiskey Dungeons and Dragons model series. Today we are going to paint the Ankeg. So let's get started. So the first step of this um, tutorial will be base coating. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take this paint, which is flat earth, and with white brush size 10, I'm going to paint this model with even layer. Uh, most likely it will take me to paint it with two or even more layers because as you can see the model is very detailed, it has a lot of cracks and recesses, so uh, it will take time for me to actually get inside all those deep places. So I will just mix my paint with water and make it a little bit more transparent so when I will be painting the first and second layer I will not cover the details of the skin on this monster. And yeah, I'm also going to wait between the layers to get dry because acrylics works best on dry surfaces and then I will just slowly approach it until my, my skin of this monster will be even and smooth. So let's go. Alright, since my base coat is ready, now I'm going to proceed and paint the first layer on the base, because later I'm going to use dry brushes and other techniques, so later while painting the base I don't want to paint over some parts of the model. So now I'm taking the same brush that I used previously, which is the wide brush size 10, but for the first color I am choosing the black paint. So the dark base is um, painted and dry, now I can proceed with washing, which is the next step on our painting tutorial. For washing I will be using the sepia ink from Game Ink series, and I'm going to use the same brush, which is wild brush size 10. I'm going to use this one because the surface is very cracked, it has a lot of recesses, a lot of places that the wash will need to go very deep. So this brush will allow me to do it quickly without me being afraid that the wash will get dry too soon on the surface and I will definitely cover the most of the surface and most of the plates of this model quite in sufficiency. So let's go.
All right, so now my wash is dry and I can proceed with dry brush. I'm going to do the dry brush on the base first because dry brush technique is not very precise one. So even if I will be carefully trying to avoid the dry brush around the legs of this monster, I may accidentally, you know, put a little bit of color on them. So first I'm going to do the dry brush on the base and then I'm going to proceed with the dry brush on the skin. So for the dry brush, for the base, the first color I'm going to use is black red color. And the brush I'm going to use is a white brush size 6, which looks exactly like that. With dry brush technique, it's kind of simple. What you have to remember that your bristles, your brush needs to be dry. So don't put it in the water, don't dip it in the water, just put your paint on your palette, dip the tip of your brush in the paint, and then we will wipe it out on a paper towel. You will see. Okay, so here's my paper towel and I have some paint on my brush. Now I am wiping it out and I am cleaning it the moment that I have this like a mist effect. When I see this effect on my paper towel, I can start. So start to brush your base like you would clean it from the dust with those quick but gentle movements and gradually you will see that the color will appear on the surface. So my first layer of highlights on the base is ready and now I'm going to add another one. For this I'm going to choose olive green color and I'm going to use the same brush, which is the white brush size 6 and I'm going to add some green spots on, the, on this base. It's not, I'm not going to cover an entire surface of the base, just a few spots. And in the meantime, I'm also uh, reminding you that your brush needs to be dry, but also it has to be clean. So if you don't have an extra brush with you for dry brush techniques, you can clean it and then wait for it to get dry, or you can use other cleaners that get drier faster. All right, so now about the highlight on the body of the monster. So we are going to use dry brush technique again, but the color will be different. The color will be Parasite Brown from Game Color. And the size of the brush, we'll be sticking with the white brushes and the same size, which is the size six. All right, for another step, I am going to perform glaze and I'm going to use the same color, which is Parasite Brown, but I am going to change my brush for the round brush size three. And I am going to perform glaze with the same color on the same surface because of the differences, how the color looks after those two techniques. The dry brush technique always makes the color weaker. So it doesn't matter how much you've put on it on your model, it will always have this um, weaker shade than you would normally put it with your brush with the water and with normal base coating. So the glazing will allow me to create a highlight on the surface and the stronger shade of the Parasite Brown will be seen as the stronger light on the plates. For the glaze I am going to use the same paint on my palette, but I am going to mix it with water for it to have this half transparent kind of texture. Then I am cleaning my brush with the water and drying it out on the paper towel to take the excess of water from the bristles. Now I am taking the, my mixed with water paint on the tip of my brush and then slowly I am applying it on the surface. Of course, if you check it out, you can check out your paint first if it's actually working for you and if you don't have too much paint on your bristles. And then you're just 
painting it over with the places that you want the light to be stronger. Alright, now that my layered and my body is prepared, I am going to add another wash to it to make it more reddish. And for that I am going to use the Rust wash and of course I am going to use the round brush this time, which is round brush size 3. And what I am going to do is I will just add this wash in the chosen places of the model, not like all, like the previous time that I painted it with all the, uh, all the surface with one wash. Now I'm going to choose the place that I'm going to paint with it to make it this rusty kind of look. So for the next step I am going to add some red ink on the surface which is exactly this one. It's a red ink from Game Ink series and I will be using it with round brush size 3. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply this ink on some parts, chosen parts of the model to make him this reddish, rusty look that we have on the box art. So for first we are going to take care about the clothes, which is mostly um, placed on his front legs. And the first color that I'm going to use will be the black color. I'm going also to use the round brush size 3. So now I'm going to make a highlight in the clothes and I'm going to use this black red paint and the white brush size 6 because I'm going to do the first step of highlight with the dry brush and later I'm going to apply the glaze to make the light stronger. And now I repeat exactly the same that I did on the skin of this monster. I'm going to use the same color with the round brush size 3 and I'm going to add some glaze on the upper parts of his clothes to make the color stronger. Our curls are ready, so now I'm going to add the last touch on the skin, which is the last highlight and also with the same paints I'm going to add some details that we can see on the skin of the monster. And for this, for the first color, I'm going to use gold brown. I'm also sticking with the round brush size 3 and what I'm going to do is to paint on the plates uh, some lines with glaze mostly and later I will go to the smaller and smaller surface to make the lights and the blicks that will allow us to see the details and the fracture on the skin. So 
So for the last highlight on the skin, I'm going to use a light yellow color. And I'm going with the smaller brush, which is round brush size two, because I'm going for the smallest details on the skin. So he has some small dots on his plates and some extra lines I want to emphasize. And also I want to paint some small dots on those little claws and pikes on his skin and definitely some blicks of the light on his tail. So definitely I'm going to do this and to better achieve that I need smaller brush. So, so size two is definitely the one. So for the last, last step, the only one thing that's left to do is to put some white bleaks on the eyes of the Angheg and I'm going to use white paint for it and also the small brush with the sharp tip. Hope that you enjoyed this painting tutorial. Be sure to share your results on social media and tag us Den of Imagination. We would really like to see your results. If you have any questions about the tutorial or you would like to see a particular miniature painted, please leave it in the comment section down below. Also, please click the subscribe button and bell notification, it helps the channel. See ya!